Hi guys and welcome to the final episode of the Road to Glory when it comes to Foot Champions for the first week of November. The team as it looks, obviously we had an experiment last week where we brought in the loan Michael. What a bad move that was on my part because it didn't help the situation anyway. And uh, the team as a whole looks like it's doing alright but obviously... I don't know, we are lacking some of it. Um, obviously, the record we stand at now, guys, is a nice 21. It's not even nice, I lied to you. 21 and 10. We need to win 10 games in a row to even our best ever finish. I don't think it'll happen. Uh, I'm not at that stage of FIFA yet where I'm confident in my abilities. And I presume a lot of you guys are in the same boat as well. So if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes, or cheat game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we try and hit over... Uh, 3,000 likes, that'd be awesome. And guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So daily objectives and weekly objectives, the progress we've got here, we have gone through a lot of them, mainly getting coin rewards. Corners. I don't know what's happening. I can't score corners. Most of this is season related, so I'll be doing that midweek. We've already got the mind reader, which was 33 balls. And score five goals with crosses, which we got. And we got the new kit as well. And we're actually going to hold on to it. So that's how that looks. And uh, that's basically what we're doing, guys. Ten games left. I'll probably end up showing like five or six of them in today's video. Um, I presume maybe six, actually. And, and I presume they're going to be a, a big run of games. And uh, maybe a big run of losses. But hopefully, this isn't the worst ever finish that I do take in foot champions. We've got a free... We need to go seven and three minimum. If it ain't anything worse than seven and three. And we've had our worst weekend on foot champions ever but let's hopefully not do that let's hopefully have a good run and fingers crossed guys it gets us at least into gold one and maybe into elite three who knows what's going to happen hmm, i'm going to play some of the games now some of the games tomorrow but let's see how we do guys fingers crossed we do all right to get some decent rewards next week so guys i've selected five games for us to take a look at today first one up against samuelino 22 with Bayi, rudiger rose valencia de gea uh bakayoko deli ali renato sanchez son uh, Jesus, or Jesus, and also William. Nice bunch of players in the team, but we started off with some nice uh, play to put us 1-0 up in the 11th minute. Um, nice patient play, and something I need to start doing, I need to start practicing throughout the week, because literally you guys will know, um, with the amount of FIFA that does go on throughout the week, you're not really getting any sharpness done. I'm not, especially because of squad battles. Don't really play divisions, but this week I will play divisions because of the daily objectives and all that good stuff. So, with that said, guys, we concede the goal. It's terrible. If you guys want to see the goals I'm conceding, watch them. See where the mistakes are being made and tell me. I think I know, but if you guys feel as if you're better than me, finish better than me in, in foot champions, let me know. I'm not bothered. Like I love, I love criticism when it comes to helping me get better at the game. And uh, thankfully, in this match, we were able to make it 3-1 uh, and my opponent did leave. That's That was the first game of the final 10, taking us to think 22. Then we come up against this. Cal the Great 89. Nice looking team with Ambaston, uh, De Bruyne, Aguero, Dembele, Bakayoko, Kante, Rose, Vertonghen, Van Dijk, Walker and De Gea. And uh, he was all over me in the first couple of minutes. As you can see, but, but, like I, I still don't understand how that is an own goal, but it was classed as an own, it was classed as an own goal, um, even though it was Van Basten putting the pressure on my defender and putting it into the back of the net. 1-0 to my opponent. And then we do get a goal, guys, from a corner. We had missed a penalty before he got the first goal as well, and uh, tied up looking to be a fair result. But then we... Uh, Slacked off. If you look at the players I'm controlling, co controlling there. I'm controlling Dembele. I'm chasing. I'm still chasing. Still, and then panic switch. And then guess what, guys? He's able to get a really weird goal. Actually, looking at it, um, into the back of the net, making it, uh, making it one nil. Uh, sorry, two one to him in the 64th, and uh, that was the last goal of the game. Even though we had numerous amount of chances to get back into it, we pick up another loss. Something which I need to really take out my game. And I don't know if it's the team. I don't know if it's the way I'm playing, but you can see, guys, we had more shots. We had more opportunities to take the lead, but unfortunately, that wasn't to be. Another loss picked up, and uh, looking like we're not going to be taking elite. If you look at the state of teams are coming against Overmars, Martial, and Gini, uh, Rui Costa, uh, Bakayoko, and Vidal, as well as a strong overpowered defence as well. Didn't start off the uh, worse though, because in the 51st minute we do take a lead after sponging um, my opponent's attack for a long time, catching him on the counter, and then Bele putting it into the back of the net, making it 1-0 in the 52nd minute. 
and then the game changed for me a little bit. Uh, you can see the ball through here to uh, uh, his attacker, inside ball through to Rui Costa, who makes it 1-1 in the 57th minute. He actually had an opportunity before that to score, but he sky uh, no, he actually just dragged it wide, and uh, that was his second chance, which he took away nicely. Into the uh, extra time now, ball in through to Hernandez, who come on as a super sub, able to square it over to Griezmann. Griezmann makes it 2-1 in the 111th minute. Very nice finish. Hernandez, obviously using him as a super sub. I think after this weekend, Liga, we'll take a look on the uh, team now. How many games I've got left? Because I know I've used him quite a bit. In the, in the... I've only got nine games of him left. God damn it. <laughs> I don't know what to do now because Hernandez is clinical. You guys see a lot of people praising his abilities and uh, he, he has done it in the 11 games he's played for me as a super sub. He's come on, he's scored six and assisted six. So a contribution per game. Uh, looking good in this game as well and uh, 119th the game was killed off uh, 120th sorry the game was finally killed off nice roulette squared over and uh, Hernandez puts it in off the post to make it 4-1 taking us to another win taking us to 23 victories uh, deserved win as well in my opinion and then the sticking point happened guys we picked up a win we picked up a loss we picked up a win and then we come up against this guy with Mbappe Neymar Bale, Rui Costa, some of you guys may recognise him, he's a pro or I don't know if he's a pro FIFA player but he's an elite calibre FIFA player and this is, I was getting dicked I was getting dicked, the ball in through to Mbappe makes it 1-0 in the 5th minute and it wasn't long term dicking, it was a short term one, you can see Bale with the ball inside, squares it through, Neymar makes it 2-0 in the 13th minute, I literally could not stop him on the attack, I don't know what I was doing wrong but his players were putting it into the back of the net every time the Ognon opportunity 2-0 quickly turns to 3-0 in the 21st minute nice dribbling on the outside guys outside through inside the bail bail works a space drags it into the back of the net of his left 3-0 in the 22nd minute so literally going from 1-0 to 3-0 this is probably the worst defeat I have took in foot champions and it was a deserved defeat as well I had a few opportunities to get into the game but I wasn't taking away my chances in the 26 minute guys composed chip over to Neymar he makes it 4-0 in the 26 was probably trying to get me to leave the game but you guys know I rarely, uh, I rarely do rage quit I probably should have rage quit that one thinking about it but I like to stay in to learn my mistakes that I don't know what much better I could have done about that, guys. Asensio scores an absolute screamer to make it five. And uh, the last and final goal for him, guys, comes on an attack. Nice pass and play. Brilliant finish from Bale. 6-0 in the 85th minute. Uh, yeah. Yeah, restart, rebuild, I don't even know what to do. But we do get a consolation goal, driven past to the back and Dembele slides it in. 6-1 um, against probably the hardest opponent I have played this weekend league and uh, he deserved his win. So it's elite, it's not possible now uh, with that defeat. And you can see even though we had the opportunities and the possession, he was just so clinical on the attack, which is something I'm not. And when it comes to my defending, it is not the best either. So the final game I'm going to show you guys up against... Um, Hernandez, Dembele, Martial, Rui Costa, uh, Kante, Modric, Varane, Koscielny, Bellerin and a few other decent players um, in his team. I tried slowing the play down, starting the 1-2, passing, waiting for the runs, get the ball over to Dembele who drives it in and simple tapping for Griezmann makes it 1-0 in the ninth minute. And this game is probably the worst one of the weekend. We took smashings, we took deserved losses but this one was a really hard one um, to take because we were giving away penalties repeatedly. Casemiro, I think that was, dropping his uh, attacker. Modric looks like he's going to take the penalty. He wasn't going to be the penalty kick taker uh, in this game. He did switch it to Hernandez, who uh, puts it just to the right. If I had a step right, I would have saved it, but he makes it 1-1 in the 17th minute. Nice, uh, nice goal, but rough defending by me. Benzema with the ball this time, dancing, waiting for him to switch players, which he does there. Inside to Martial, Martial over to Benzema. Benzema makes it 2-1, putting us into the lead again uh, in the 32nd minute. I was happy with that. It gets even better not long afterwards, guys, as uh, we're able to get the ball over to Martial, through to Griezmann, and we make it 3-1 in the 44th, just before half time. All we had to do was continue with the way we were playing, but did Bateson continue the way he was playing? In defence, yeah, because I was dropping players left, right and centre, giving away a penalty to my opponent again. He had already scored one. That one goal would give him a, a way back into the game yet again, and uh, it was it was to be, guys. You can see Modric uh, does take this one, guys. He puts it to the uh, left and uh, makes it 3-2 just before half-time. 
If I'd have got him with a 3-1 lead, who knows what happened. But it's like my opponent passed the controller. We were defending absolutely stupidly. If you look at the player switching, I'm doing it. It's absolutely garbage. We get very, very unlucky there, to be fair. And he makes it 3-3 in the 67th. That was, an, that was an unlucky goal, but he was working the space and getting the shot off. And the final goal, guys... It's in my opponent's possession, so it's obvious what happened. Ball through, ball over. Willian makes it 4-3 in the 82nd minute. And my opponent walks away with another victory. Bateson throwing away stupid wins. And uh, unfortunately, that's going to be a repetitive thing for the next couple of months, I reckon. So the final result, guys, for foot champions this weekend, um, unfortunately, is 27 and 13. I think this is our worst result as of yet. But I've looked at the mistakes yet again. I've seen what I need to do. Um, next weekend, I've, I always seem to have a lot of have stuff to put me off weekend league. I don't know what it is, but next week I'm going to be fully concentrating on getting the highest result I can. And uh, it's messed me up for the month. We literally need, I think it was 28 wins um, for the month again. And we've got a long way to go, which is going to make it very difficult to do so. But uh, we are two wins. No, we're one win off, aren't we? One win off 28. Um, but we need to start playing catch up and get the elite one again. But I want to start finishing elite regularly uh, when it comes to, uh, obviously, the... Uh, when it comes to the weekend league, but I don't know. I'm still finding my feet. I presume a lot of you guys are finding your feet as well. The patches are coming out in, in daft times, in my opinion, just for weekend leagues. So you're not able to get enough uh, practice in. So that's basically us done for the video today, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Um, if you have a like rate, we very much appreciate on it. Subscribe if you're not. And tomorrow, guys, we should have some Elite One uh, squad battle rewards. Because currently, as we do look at it, uh, we are in Elite One. So we're going to get some decent money anyway. And uh, the rank is 66,000. I think there's one more refresh to come. But you can see, guys, 39,000 coins and two mega packs and a bonfire kit. Not bad. Not bad for an uh, Elite One finish. Um, but... Pretty disappointing weekend league yet again. Only can work harder. And uh, obviously, it's a road to glory. And uh, still, we're not even on the road yet. We're not even on the road. But we're getting there. Leave a like, rate, and subscribe now. Back again tomorrow with the next episode of the Road to Glory. Squad Battles time and squad battle rewards if you guys like packs. <laughs>